Yeah, you made the most sense of talking about NFTs and digital property rights because I cannot explain it effectively. So, well, let's just start with the basics, right? So, a lot of people describe as Web One as a read internet and Web Two as the internet in which you can read write. And then Web Three is the web of ownership, and by that, what we mean is that all this data that we're writing onto what exists in Web Two, actually, now we have a stake in it. We have a way in which we can own a piece of it. We wouldn't have all this amazing sort of companies like Facebook and Apple and Google if it wasn't for the power of AI. But who fuels that power of AI? It comes from data, and who gives that data? We do. Every time we put data, you know, like in the form of photos into Instagram, we make Instagram more powerful. We make them more valuable because, after all, if we stop putting data, stop putting photos into Instagram, it wouldn't be worth anything. But how much do we get paid for that labor? Nothing. Nothing. And we don't know what that price is. And that's basically where Web three comes in. Because the way we can think about Web three is that every time that we contribute to the network, not just for free, we would actually receive some value back. 